this is Katina and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to play Nimbus 2000 from the Harry Potter movies by John Williams. This is an intermediate video. We're going to be over the break but it's great practice for us going from a B natural to an A sharp which we also know is a B flat right there. We're going to start right on that B. Use your thumb down right here and then you're going to tap that register key and put your fingers down, one, two, three, one, two, three for B. You can rest this pinky here for the C, that's okay for this one. You're gonna play six of those bad boys, one, two, three, four, five, six Bs, and then you're gonna to go to that A sharp I was telling you about. We also know it as a B flat. I'm keeping my fingers very close on purpose because you're gonna go back to that B. But as a reminder, this is B flat. You have the A with the side of your finger and then the thumb right back there for that register key. But use the tip of your thumb to play that so that you can roll right back into that B natural over the break and then you're gonna lift up that B for the C so you let this rest here this pinky here in the C just lift up that one in your left hand and then put it back down for the B and then you go back to that A sharp and then you're gonna land on that B again let me just play that much for you I'm gonna go this way two and three and I'm just making sure I got enough B's in there all right you've landed on your B we're gonna keep going and you're gonna go to an open G now I'm holding my coronet sideways so I'm gonna lift it like this so you can see the G no fingers are down you're gonna keep them close though because you know it's good good hand position is to stay close you're gonna roll to that A with the side of your index fingers so this is your A you're gonna play it with the side and you're gonna play another A and then G sharp with the side still keeping your fingers close there's your G sharp right there it's this little guy but you're playing it with your side go back to that A and then drop to a C right here there's your C thumb is down the back one two three C and then you have a B natural right there and then you're gonna to go to an E right here and then you have an open G and then that A sharp, otherwise known as B flat. All right, let me play that much for you. Then we're gonna play almost the same thing again. It does change a little bit. It's gonna go a little bit higher. All right, so you're back to your B natural right there from the beginning. You're gonna have six of those, one and two and three and, back to your A sharp for your four and is that B. This time you're gonna go up to a D, okay? So this is the case where you don't necessarily wanna keep your pinky resting here because you might get a little bit of drag and an accidental C natural in there, but if you can lift them both up exactly at the same time, you'll be fine. You've gone to that D right here, and now you're gonna to go to the C, and then you're gonna to go to a B, and then a C. So we're gonna play that much. Down to an F natural right there back up to that C, B natural, A sharp, B, E, open G, B, and then you're gonna land on an E to finish up the song. I'm gonna play that much for you. I'm gonna start on that C that we had as our landing place. So that's the whole thing. Let me play it straight through for you so you can see the fingerings and hear everything all at once. Starting on that B. did that one for you I noticed that I threw in some resonance fingering so I'll talk about that for one quick second so when you're playing the the a, the a sharp slash B flat or the a or even the G sharp one of the things we like to do is resonance fingerings so you could hear the difference in the sound there so you can actually play around with those on your clarinet to see which ones give that 
the um those re those throat tones a little bit more core in the sound so that was what i was doing there if you were wondering about that weird fingering i did thanks for watching comments questions post them below bye